everyone. Welcome back to Eric's Everyday Watches. Today I'm doing a review on the Seconda Watch Model 3882. Now you may be asking yourself, what is Seconda and why am I reviewing this watch? Well, to answer that, I first have to admit to you that I'm a bit of a bargain hunter. Even before COVID, even before the prices of everything started going up, 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 you know there's just something satisfying about finding a good deal. And of course, all that much better if that good deal happens to be on a nice watch. So when I saw this watch online for $32, I had to take a closer look. And what I discovered is that this British Brown Seconda is well known in the UK. They've been making quality, inexpensive watches since the 1960s. So what type of watch can you pick up for less than the price of a full tank of gas? Let's take a closer look. So first off, let's talk about where you could buy this watch. Now I bought mine online at Amazon. And for $32, it included the watch and free international shipping. You heard that right. $32 somehow includes shipping across the pond. You can also pick up this watch on eBay for a similar price. When I looked today, it was going for $38. Now, after doing a little research online, I really get the sense that if you happen to live in the UK and you don't need this watch shipped across the pond, you could probably pick up this watch for closer to $20 to $25. Now, there are different colorways you can consider. This brown dial is model 3882. There is a black dial, which is model 1461, and the blue dial is model 1462. So Seconda is a British brand that started in 1966. It was a different company back then. Originally, they were rebranded Russian watches, such as Peugeot and Rakata. All the watches back then, of course, were mechanical, and they were produced in the Soviet Union. Now, some of the models from that time look fantastic. The Seconda brand is known in the UK for producing affordable quality watches, and by the late 1970s, they were selling over a million watches a year. In fact, by 1988, Seconda became UK's best-selling watch brand and held that title for 31 consecutive years. After the Soviet Union collapsed in 91, Seconda's ties to Russia ended, and all those Seconda watches made today now use a quartz movement and are produced in Hong Kong. They offer a variety of styles, some of which are obvious homage watches, but other ones are more original in design. Now the Seconda watches today all use a Japanese movement and come with the stainless steel cases. And generally, most of them have a minimum water resistance of 50 meters. Now given their low price point, I think the steps that this watch goes through is rather impressive. I mean, it is designed in Britain, built in Hong Kong, uses Japanese movement, and then goes back to the United Kingdom where it goes through 32 quality control checks. Now, keep in mind, Seconda is a mass-produced watch, one with a very reasonable price tag. It seems to me that Seconda is not about giving the absolute highest quality watches you could possibly buy, but rather, they are about giving high value in relation to the low price that you actually pay. So let's take a closer look at exactly what you're getting with the Seconda Model 3882. Starting with this brown metallic dial here, it's a sunburst pattern, and it, I think it does a really good job of catching the light. You know, and I love the contrast that it gives between it and the white hands and this bright yellow second hand. And let's talk about those, you know, hands for a moment. The hour hand and a minute hand. You know, I feel like they are some of the widest hands I've seen on a watch this size. And I wouldn't say that they're easily legible. I would say they are highly legible. And I think the style is a little unusual. Look at the hour hand. You see it is an arrow style hand while the minute hand kind of flares out in the middle and then comes back to a point at the end. You know, I have to admit, you know, this combo is something I really like on this style of a casual watch. You know, I should also point out that that hour and minute hand are loomed and that bright yellow second hand you know, unfortunately, it hits the markers about half the time. Between the 12 and the 6, it seems to hit the markers really well. 
but between the 6 and the 12, you know, it's off. But how much can you expect from a low, you know, $30 price point? So at the 12 o'clock, you see they have the logo Seconda printed on the dial. Now the numbers and markers are raised ink, which adds a little bit of depth to this watch. At the 3 o'clock, we have a date window. And that actually brings me to my first gripe about this watch. I have two issues with this date window. One, when the hands go around, like at 6.15, it completely covers up that date window. And you know, that happens sometimes on watches, so I could let that one go. My second gripe about this date window, and this one I think is more important, is I just have a hard time reading the, what the date is. I feel like the font they used is too lightweight, and it really needed to be a bolder font. And here's a close-up of what I mean. You know, at a glance, can you tell me what that number is? Is that a 6 or an 8? Can you tell me now? So going down to the 6 o'clock, you can see where it says 50 meters, and that's for their water resistance. You know, one thing I want to point out about this dial is how it is not cluttered, right? It feels very clean. There's a good sense of style to it. And partially because they only included eight numbers on this face. You know, it balances out with the logo at the top, you know, the 50 meter text on the bottom, and at the three o'clock having that date window. It just kind of works. Another thing here is I really like is their color choice. You know, I bought this brown model based on online comments, and I admit I really had some doubts between a brown face and a gray chapter ring. And now that I have it in hand, you know, I have to agree, it actually does look really good. This is not a color combo you see on a lot of watches, and it's quite honestly refreshing. You know, I have to hand it to them. Those Brits, they really know style. So this watch comes with a mineral glass, which is exactly what you expect from this price point. You know, for $30, you're not even close to getting a sapphire. So you notice on the crown, it has a knurling pattern, which offers a really nice grip to it. And, you know, my second gripe coming up now is just the lightweightness of this watch. You know, it's, it's very lightweight. I feel like it's almost too light. And when I tap the back, if you can hear this, it feels a little tinny. Now, there's been conflicting information online about whether or not this case is actually stainless steel or if it's simply some sort of metal alloy. So I'm not positive at this point. So the finishing on the case all around is a high polished, which actually looks good on the front. You know, on the back where you're not gonna see it and it goes against your wrist, it is a bit of a fingerprint magnet. But that is just what it is. Now, the diameter of this watch is 43 millimeters. You have a thickness of 11 millimeters. The lug width is 22. And for a lug to lug distance here, you have 50 millimeters. Now, my last gripe about this watch is actually a leather strap. Now, initially in my unboxing video, I said it felt very soft and supple. And it still does, actually. It, it is a nice feeling leather strap. My real gripe about it is where they put this first loop on the band. And what I mean by that is when you have it on or you go to put it on and you're looping this through, you'll see that it's so close that it actually is putting stress on the, metal, on the leather strap right here. You see, and I'm worried that over time, that is gonna you know, wear down that leather strap a lot faster than it actually needed to. Now let's take a look at how it looks in action, in the wild. You know, I think this 43 millimeter watch looks good on my seven inch wrist. There's a lot of downturn to the lugs, and as a result, it wears a lot smaller than you'd expect it, given its 50 millimeter lug to lug distance. You know, I particularly like the way it looks with just a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. 
It's a very casual watch and it's easy to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. The metallic brown dial offers a degree of flair when the light catches it. And fortunately, that seems to be often. So overall impressions of this watch. You know, the number one reason why I like this watch is, you know, and what I believe is also the number one goal of Seconda, that it is simply a good looking watch. I took this watch on vacation from Minnesota down to Georgia and to Florida. With the exception of a few dressy occasions where I wore a different watch, this is the watch that I wore 90% of the time. You know, on the plane, at the beach, in the hot, hot, hot Florida sun, this watch simply worked. And oftentimes, I simply forgot I even had it on. And that's in part due to its extremely light weight. The leather band, while perhaps not the highest quality, proved to be very comfortable in the Georgia heat. The large hands were easily legible regardless of whether I was inside or outside in the direct sunlight. So where does that leave us? You know, in my unboxing video for this British watch, I questioned whether or not this watch was gonna be proper. And I think that comes down to a couple of things. One, the company. Yes, Seconda is a well-respected company with a history of making watches. Two, the components. Now, I'm sure the components in this watch are not at the same level as something like a Tissot or a Bulova, but given the low cost of this watch, you know, I have to give them a lot of credit for not skimping out and using the absolute cheapest components possible, like some fashion brands would do. Fashion brands, which I'll point out, charge a lot more for their cheaply made watches than this watch from Sisconda. And number three, the value for the price paid. You know, I started to question what else could you possibly get for $30? And my first thought is my go-to watch, the Timex Weekender. Yes, you can still pick one up for around $30, depending on which model and color you want. But you know, the truth is for $30, your watch options are extremely limited. So I started to think, what else do you really get for $30 these days? You know, and it came down to maybe a half a tank of gas, two cheeseburgers, or a adult ticket to the alligator farm in Florida. If, if you qualify for the senior citizen discount or military discount, otherwise, you know, that's going to cost you more than $30. So in the end, yeah, for the price paid, I do got to say this British watch is proper. So there you go. Seconda, who knew? You know, it's a company that's brand new to me. Maybe it's brand new to you. If you found this video helpful in any way, if you liked it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Until then, this is Eric from Eric's Everyday Watches reminding you to buy the watch that you love and don't pay any attention to what anybody else says or thinks. It is your watch collection and you're the only one that's going to be wearing it. I'll see you in the next video.